If you're getting this dangerously looking fatal remote origin already exist error in your terminal after running this command, git remote add origin and then the URL to your remote repository, the reason is usually that you have cloned a repo from GitHub, for example, uh, to your local machine, and now you're trying to add a new origin URL to that repository. But the problem is that the, the project that you have cloned already has URLs configured that lead to the profile on GitHub where you got the project, where you cloned it from. And if that doesn't make any sense, it's going to make sense in a second, I promise you. Now, for those of you who have some experience with uh, Git version control, the fix is to replace the Git remote add part with Git remote set URL. So set URL instead of add, and that's going to solve your problem. Now, for those of you who want to understand what's actually going on here and learn something, I recommend that you watch the next couple of minutes of this video because I'm going to give you a practical example. So now I'm going to go to GitHub and I'm going to clone this repository or this project called change case. It's a very small one. So I'm going to go to the code part here and I'm going to say, I'm going to copy this link to this uh, repo. And I'm going to go to my terminal and I'm inside my yeah text tag folder. So I'm going to, I'm going to go to CD def. That's, that's where I store my project files. And I'm going to say git clone and paste the URL to the change case remote repository. And in a few seconds, I'm going to have this on my computer. I should have it in a few seconds, at least. And there we go. Oh, damn, it's slow. There we go. Cool. So now I have this on my computer. So if I do CD and then change case like so now I'm inside that um, project. Now if I do code dot to open this up in my text editor, now I can make changes to this project. Okay. And I'm just going to go to the readme file just quickly, just for the sake of illustration, and just add stuff, right? Like so, and hit command S or control S to save it. Fine. Now I have a change in this repository, right? But the problem here is that I want to push my changes to my own repository, but I don't have one yet. So I'm going to go to GitHub, where I already am. And I'm going to go to the plus uh, button here. And I'm going to say new repository because I'm, I want to have a place that's my own repository where I can push changes to this project that I just downloaded. So I'm just going to call it the same change case. And all this other stuff is fine. Um, yeah, uh, create repository. And in a few seconds, I have an empty repository, a remote repository uh, on my own profile called the same name as the project that I just downloaded. Cool. Now, if you look at this stuff, right, if I go back here now, it actually tells me if I have an existing repository, I can push it to my new repository from the command line by using this command, right? So this should work, git remote at origin, and then the URL to my new remote repository, which is empty right now. So now I'm going to say command V or control V to paste this and hit enter. Oops, it doesn't work. Why does it say the origin already exists? Well, it does so because when I cloned the project earlier from the other uh, GitHub uh, user account, I also cloned the origin URLs that were baked into that project. And now I need to change them. And I can actually uh, prove this very easily. And you're going to learn something really uh, cool now. So if I do git remote, and then two hyphens, and then verbose, and hit enter, look at this. I have two URLs here called origin, one for fetching that's downloading and one for pushing that's uploading data. But look at this. It says Blake Embry. That's the name of the GitHub profile where I downloaded or where I cloned the project from earlier. But that's not what you want. You want to change it to whatever your um, user profile name is and whatever your project name is, right? So all I have to do is to take that command from before and just replace this add part with set URL because that will update it or change it like so. And if nothing comes back when you hit this command, it means that it works. But we can just confirm by running the git remote repose flag again. And here we go. Now the two origins for fetching and pushing data have been changed to my profile account user on GitHub. And now I can commit the change that I made earlier when I went to uh, just this readme and just added some nonsense text here. So now I can say git add and I can say git commit and then I'll say first commit to cloned repo and then I'll say git push origin master like so and it's a very small project so in a few seconds I should be able to refresh this page and it, the project should have been uploaded.
and there we go now it's done uploading the project so if i do refresh now you can see that my project files from the the local repository have now been pushed to my own remote repository and now you can see on the commits if i click on this button you can see that it has the commits from the previous uh, owner of this project right which is very useful because then you can go back and see what they have done and it also has this first commit to clone repo where i just changed that one readme file a little bit just for the sake of illustration so that's it for this video i hope it has been helpful and uh, if it has let me know down in the comment section and don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys in the next video